So I'm here to review the savior of the Batman franchise. Batman Begins. So Batman Begins stars Christian Bale, Liam Neeson, Michael Caine, Gary Oldman, Something Murray, Murphy, and Kate something, and Morgan Freeman. So in this movie, we see, we see at the beginning that Bruce Wayne is having flashbacks of what happened with him and the bats, and how he got scared of the bats, and everything. So then he wakes up, he's in prison because he did something bad. And, um, and then we see how his parents were murdered, and everything like that. So Liam Neeson decides, decides to take him under his wing and train him to become the Batman. And, um... So yeah, we see that, we see them training and all that, and then we see that, that, um, Bruce Wayne is about to set up an explosion. So what he does is he saves, so what he does is he saves Liam Neeson from the explosion, and he think Liam Neeson thinks he, he was trying to blow him up, and, th and this is how he becomes Rachel Ghoul. Yep, that's how um Liam Neeson becomes Rachel Ghoul. So also in this movie we see we see Batman I mean not Batman's Bruce Wayne's childhood friend and love interest Rachel Rachel. So we see also he's had he's having flashbacks of how he was going to murder the man that murdered his family. And she was like, oh, this is not, this is not justice, this is revenge, this is what you're doing, you're trying to kill him. And this is when she stopped talking to Bruce Wayne and all that. And then we see, then we see that Bruce Wayne goes back to Gotham City and he, and this is when Morgan Freeman comes in. This is how he gets all of his gadgets and all and all that good stuff. And it takes about an hour to really betray where he becomes Batman. I like that because, oh, oh, to start the film, he's Batman. No, they actually wait. They actually wait until he becomes Batman. So I like that, you know. So Batman Begins is a great Batman. I mean, really it is. Alright, so also we see that now Batman's about to fly off his first crime. And he's going, and guess what? He's like Ninja Batman. It's like, he goes behind him, he's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. it doesn't kill him, but he, but re really, he's like an assassin. He just goes like, whoop, boom. You know, he's a ninja. He's Ninja Batman. I mean, so yeah, Christian Bale plays a good Batman Probably the best Batman, in my opinion. I, I just like, I prefer the Christian Bale Batman more. So then we see, um, then we see the Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow's kind of a useless villain. Didn't really pay that much, just, um, Scarecrow wasn't really, I mean, he was good, but I think it was just useless. Rachel Ghoul was the main villain in this movie, in my opinion. He was the main villain. So, and then we see Michael Ka Michael Kine. You, you gotta say it like that. Michael Kine playing his butler Alfred, and he's a good Alfred. You know, probably the best Alfred. I prefer him better. I prefer um, Michael Kane's Alfred better than the original Alfred from the bat from the four Batman movies. And we so um. So, um, Scarecrow and Rachel Ghoul are trying to destroy Batman, of course. So, we see that, so, of course, Scarecrow doesn't get, get arrested or killed because he's in, because he's in the Dark Knight for a about a couple of minutes and that's it. But then we see Christian Bale versus Liam Neeson, or in this case, it's Batman versus Rachel Ghoul. So you see them, they're fighting it out, they're fighting it out, boom, 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 you know? And then, 
we see that the train is about to crash down and yeah and both of them are about to be killed and he said I'm not gonna kill I'm not gonna kill you but that doesn't mean I'm gonna save you and then he flies away and that's the death of Rachel al Ghul all right so my thoughts on how everybody did in this movie Pretty good. Christian Bale, awesome as Batman. Liam Neeson, awesome as Rachel Ghoul. Michael Caine as Alfred, awesome as Alfred. Um, Kate, um, however, whatever her last name is, eh, she was alright as Ra Rachel. I prefer the one that played Rachel, Ra Rachel in The Dark Knight more than I did in Batman Begins. So, uh... So then at the end, we see the Joker card. So that means we know that Joker will be in The Dark Knight, which was, which is the next movie. But Batman Begins is an awesome movie. I give Batman Begins a 10 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of Batman Begins. I enjoyed this movie. And tomorrow... Oh, I've been waiting for this since Batman Week started. Tomorrow, we're reviewing the holy grail of all Batman, Batman movies. I don't care what you say. Tomorrow, we're reviewing The Dark Knight. Yeah, so tune in for that. Please subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment, and peace.